So the stupid McLean video. Uh, I've been doing a bunch. And like, one of the things it's been doing is making us feel like we can't be ourselves and just exist. So I've been doing all the opposite things. Like, I've been commenting on stuff. And I've been talking to our friends more, and we're planning to go out to a sort of like social meet somewhere local which is not something we really do I'm gonna make a vlog to talk and like introduce myself on the channel with no name <laughs> that's fine I want to start making TikToks I really like the way we could use them as a system because I can only talk to people easily inside I can't go front with a lot of people or even like co-con with a lot of people out here not right now anyway and I think that TikToks could be a really cool way to have conversations it's just it's really obvious and really like visible but since the McLean video makes me want to hide, I want to do the opposite. I think that social activism has like a really good purpose to it, and I think that you can use social media for it a lot. And I think that by doing the opposite of what my defences are telling me to do, I can make us more visible and maybe that makes it easier for other people in the community to be more visible too for themselves. And maybe that will help everyone. I've been feeling like really anxious and really like second guessing everything and being really unsure of what I'm doing and saying. I haven't gotten used to this like vlogging at all but I haven't really wanted to since watching that. Uh, we watched the ring, the uh, ring systems video, and that was really kind of helpful, especially because like a lot of what they said, I feel like they echoed some of the points that Vince and Violet made in ours, and I've been feeling kind of sketchy. Like it's not like I didn't trust their responses, but like I don't really know what's going on with the video. I haven't seen it, and I didn't, I haven't watched ours. I don't really know what they said, but I, I know what things I was scared of, and then the ring system kind of made it sound like that was all normal stuff to say, and like that was all okay, and that kind of helped. And then we've got a playlist of different systems and different videos, I've started watching them, and I watched just the first one that Violet did of ours. And it sounded really good. I kind of expected to feel like bad about it or something. Like maybe that's just the shame. But I definitely felt better watching it. And like I know I feel like shame like ashamed that I don't know more. Like ashamed that I can't remember because I feel like she recorded the video so I should know what it says and it's been kind of hard to like see that I don't but then watching it I didn't get any of the associations that like maybe she was scared of what I think when we watched it and I didn't I didn't see anything wrong with it or anything shameful at all I felt proud I felt like we've got really good protectors in this system and like the hosts are really powerful like they actually have our backs and they're not afraid to speak and to sound really direct in what they're saying. It's kind of hard to feel like free to be myself enough on camera and that's making me feel kind of rigid but I felt better watching them and I'm going to watch the rest of our videos as well. I thought that was cool anyway. So like after watching getting it's like my brain was trying to tell me that I I should know what our videos have in them because we shared them and like if I don't then there's something wrong with that but accepting that I really don't know and then watching them I felt like I felt differently about them than how I expected to feel or how maybe other people in here expected me to feel I had like a different perspective than the one that felt like I was gonna have about it. 
and I thought it was really cool and it was a little weird because it's like I was watching the face that I'm using right now like watching the body that I'm using right now but not at all me in it like I, there was no way I was watching me I know I was watching her so that was a little bit freaky but it was, it was kind of cool at the same time it was kind of comforting I think that's the word That's kind of cool. I don't, I don't really know how to vlog. I'm not going to pretend I do. I'm just trying to say what I've been thinking, what I've been feeling. I've been feeling kind of unsure. Like, like I don't know if it's okay for me to exist in any of the ways I exist, or like do any of the things I do. And then I kind of just thought, screw that. And now I'm going to do the complete opposite. And I'm just going to exist and be like, as myself and as like unhidden, unmasked as I can be. It's harder because I learned that I had to mask because the people that were in the front so like I'd only front around people that were a bit like me anyway, or like like everyone in here is pretty different, but like where I guess it I could hide because we had similarities. So I'm kind of used to like trying to look like the host, and it's really weird to not be doing that now. It's like I've forgotten how to not do that with my voice and with the way I move, and it feels really rigid. I really like, like I just want to stretch my whole body out, like I've been encased in something. But it's kind of cool too because like I can see that these are the same, same sort of clothes that I'd wear and it's like the style I'd have inside. It kind of feels a bit more like I'm free to actually exist and express myself like I would I can tell that there's a lot of people inside that I know that know me that are like not happy <laughs> with anything I'm doing right now but only because they're scared because we had like crap I think a neighbor's coming downstairs I'm gonna keep talking anyway, that's fine. I don't know what I look like, what I talk like. <sighs> and then we have different defences for different people. Like, I was taught to hide. Not inside. Inside is fine. But like, inside's the safe world. Out here, we were taught that this is the dangerous world. And like, everybody that comes out here gets hurt and damaged and traumatised. So why there were so many rules to me coming out here and why I had to behave a certain way and like not run a lot so it still feels like everything's dangerous it's kind of hard to get used to the idea that like maybe it's not maybe it's not dangerous to be seen and to exist there's some people like scaffolding the roof right now and they are like mad adding to my anxiety about it but I kind of feel excited too because it's like the more I do this the more I feel like I see that everything I always thought would happen because it is all that ever happened when we were kids like it's not like that anymore and I kind of think that's maybe why I like watching their video as well like watching what Vi said I haven't watched like all of them yet or Vince's but Is, like we're not powerless we're not we don't have to hide and be quiet and be not seen and not like have strong views and we we're not undefended anymore and we have like a choice in what we do and how we behave and we can still protect each other and I think the people we got in here that 
act in our protection are really good at it. So I feel kind of safe to just do whatever feels like more natural to me, even if I can tell the other people that I live with inside don't feel that pleased about it now. I think they'll feel okay with it after a while. Maybe even okay enough to give you my name, because I'd really love to remember that. It's not like I can't remember it when I go inside. But it's weird, it's like when I'm in the front, I forget so much about what it's like inside, where I come from. Or anything I do remember, I can feel like this really steely, kind of spiky feeling like I shouldn't talk about it. about where I'm at. I feel like really like we gotta hide and I really notice like being visible and I feel like I should be invisible so I'm fighting really hard to do the exact opposite of that and to keep myself like being visible but not just being visible like being visible as me and talking like about the things I'm actually thinking about and not like masking in any way like not masking my clothing not masking how I talk not masking like the things I think or my views not like watering them down or anything maybe that's why I feel anxious all the time and maybe that's not gonna last forever then really sucks right now that feeling really, really sucks, but... I think if we keep doing it, maybe it'll get easier.